Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Starbound. Uh, I apologize for the lack of videos recently. I've just been going back to school, so I've been pretty busy with class and homework and all that jazz. And uh, by the time I'm done with all that, I'm kind of usually too tired to record. But I figured I'd pop out a video today, because uh, I haven't done one in a while. And I have time to. Uh, and also, sorry about the sort of lack of terror tech as well, just because I basically ran out of ideas for things to do currently. Uh, when there's a, another major update, I'll definitely revisit the game and explore everything there is to do with that, with it and uh, all that stuff. But anyways, back to Starbound stuff. <laughs> uh, last time we made Planetfall, got all of our equipment, uh, accessed a portal, found the outpost, and now we have to go on a mission to repair our ship. However, what I think I'm going to do first is get a little bit of armor. Uh, made up before I do that, so I will cut back once I've created all my materials and gone mining and found some more stuff. Because it's kind of boring to watch. Okay, so I've gone down to the surface, cuffed, I've dug up some more iron and other materials, made some items. Uh, let's see, let's check my inventory real quick. Uh, made myself some cardboard armor, which is the uh, starting armor for my race, it's kind of funny. Uh, we also got ourselves some new weapons. I don't know why these don't actually have any stats on them, but these are the iron version of the previous coal identity discs that we had before, so they're even a little bit better. Uh, I probably didn't even need them, but there were only like three iron each, so I figured why not. Alright, let's uh, let's do this mission. Urkeus Mining Facility. This facility is the central source of Urkeus Crystals, which can upgrade your ship's FTL drive. Deploy. One of the music in this place. Come on, where are the lights? Is it these guys? No, that must be down here. There we go. Now to turn on all the computers. Not that it really matters, but... Oh, we don't even need lights. These things light up so much. Jeez. Forgot about that. Anything in here? A yellow stem and a rope. Let's see. What about you? Assault rifle, kind of useless to us, but you know, we can sell it, get some money out of it. Well, this music's a little bit loud. Let's just, just tone it down a bit. There we go. I'll probably turn it back up after this just because I liked where it was before. Graxus Moon. Oh, this is a pistol. That's weird. Yeah, we'll just take everything we come across because, you know, money is money, right? Alright, we're. Oh, no, we have to go down this way. Right. Okay. Hopefully the uh, the rapid changes of light aren't going to give you, like, seizures or something. Oh, there's a zombie. Another zombie. Oh my god. 42 damage? We seriously just one-shot these things when we throw both of our, uh... Both of our discs. That's crazy, dude. These are crazy OP. <laughs> How much does one do? Tw well, 21, obviously. So, yeah. Two discs, instant kill. Did we already check this chest? Or crate? Yeah, I guess we did. And what is this lever? Oh, this is another door. Oop, all dead. Normally these guys kind of have a lot of health for this stage in the game. Like, I mean, it's not that much, but it is... You, you have to, you know, hit them quite a few times, but this just makes it crazy easy. I actually feel kind of bad. I threw away my other discs, though, otherwise I'd use them. I mean, I guess we could use a spear or something, but I really like sort of sticking to the, the whole disc thing. And the reason I'm not blowing these up is because this is a protected area. You actually can't mine any of the blocks in here. You can interact with them. Like, I can... I thought I could turn that light off. Maybe it's wired to be turned on or something. But you saw me interacting with the computers and stuff earlier, so... Alright. Pull this lever. Oh, hello there, survivor. Try not to get killed by the zombie. <laughs> oh. Wait, what, what hit us? That's weird. I didn't see anything. I will leave those pixels. It's fine. Alright, and this 
boss is actually, well, I mean, I guess it would be the easiest in the game just because it's like the first boss, you, it's your first boss encounter, so. Uh, but you don't even, you don't attack it, you just pull some levers over and over again. If you're not familiar with it, you'll see what I mean in just a minute. And we'll get that chest down there as well, it has a uh, cosmetic bit in it. Uh, the space helmet. Just a cosmetic piece. We can put it on our uh, vanity slot if we want to. Like kind of a big old astronaut head. There is uh, an entire like cosmetic set in this place, although some pieces I don't think we can get until we unlock more techs, which I still haven't done yet, because I'm a derp. Uh, but we can always we can always come back and revisit this place if we want to. So it's it's not a big deal. Because missions you've done, you can always like redo from your ship. Just for the cosmetic rewards, basically. Yeah, I'm going to take this thing off. It looks ridiculous. Oops, didn't mean to jump off there. And this is where we just came from, I think. So I must continue going left. Easy peasy. Anything? More bandages. Alright, cool. We got two of those uh, rapid bandages now. So yeah, the salves heal 50 health over 10 seconds, and bandages heal 50 health over 1 second. So obviously the bandages are better in every single way, uh, but we but salves are easier to make. They require less materials, so... That's why we're using... Well, and we only have two of the normal bandages, so that's why we're using both. Alright, here is the spacesuit chest piece. There we go. If we can just sort of synchronize it and keep things lit up all the time. Arceus readings have reached 94 rad. You are in peril. Your peril level is reaching 14,607 morts. Sure, whatever that means. I'm oh, sorry about the AI, dear. Now this guy still has a lot of health, and I'll take a minute to get down. There we go. Take his pixels. Look at them. Prolonged contact with the Urkeus crystal seems to have destroyed their very being. The poor creatures have lost themselves completely. Uh, I assume she's talking about the zombies, and it's just taken a while, or is she talking about the armored dudes that we just fought? I'm not sure. Because you'd think that would be talking about the zombie dudes. Oh, we are actually kind of low on health. Let's, uh... Pop a bandage and heal at the same time. Alright, continuing on. Can we open this? Hello? We have to... Oh, we had to pull that lever. Okay, gotcha. I, I... As many times as I've been through here, I do not recall having to pull that lever. That seems really weird. Or at there being a lever there at all, really. Could take this blueprint, some mining hatch. Don't know if we'll ever make it, but at least we have it. There's probably some more uh, of these dudes, yep. Just, just, just stay down. Stay down. Go away. Oh, and there's that. I don't know, the, the way we're supposed to go isn't this way. Wait, no, it is this way. What the heck? What's up this way, then? Dude, I'm so dumb. Like, I've, I've been through here so many times. Oh, it's this chest, right. Okay. With the uh, spacesuit backpack, which we'll actually go ahead and throw on our back there. Go ahead and read these codexes as well. I'm not going to read it, but if you want to pause and read it, you can. I'll throw it away. There you go. Uh, if there's ever one with multiple pages, I'll just scroll through all the pages and sort of give you a moment to pause. Alright, now... We are continuing on with the real show. Uh, unless there's something up this way. Okay, yeah, this is... I think where another cosmetic would be, but we don't have the, uh, the Morph Ball technology. Yeah, this is like, it's like a shortcut there. 
Ercus readings have reached, reached 101 rad. Your current peril is 18,472 mords. Hush, you're not helping. Is that it? Okay. And if you ever see a door like this with a little like keyhole in it, that's always a boss door. So you just go next to it, activate it, and it automatically pulls you through. Alright, well, with this we're gonna wanna... Oh, we don't have any text. This is gonna be kind of annoying. Whatever, we'll just take the damage. You don't really have to dodge anything for this boss, just have bandages. That <laughs> should turn around. No, oh, come on. Oh, whatever, it's fine. We have health. We just have to activate all four of them. This cannon lights up. You activate it and you have to do that two more times. And there's literally nothing we can do, I'm pretty sure. Oh, we actually can hit it. Okay, I actually never realized that. Does that actually do damage though? It says 21, but I didn't. I didn't was looking at the health bar. Oh, that, okay. It does. A, it does a little bit of damage, but it's definitely not worth. Okay, we are actually gonna die. Just kidding. We're not gonna die. We just have to be careful. I'm actually gonna pop one of our uh, faster bandages once this one's done, just so we can get back to full. Go ahead and just eat the eat up that damage. Nom 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 nom. Oh, I was hoping we could avoid it there. Right. Blue was good, right? Yeah, blue was good. Sometimes I spawn things, and now he's dead. <laughs> I survived? You saved me, thank you. I actually don't know what this dude is doing inside the crystal. I don't think he's actually important to the lore at all. You can activate these things again and shoot it, but it doesn't actually do anything. It just fires the bullet, but there's no easter egg or anything. And so we get a diamond, Urkis Horror Codex, which I'll go through, three pages. Alright, there you go. We'll take all this stuff, and we get two capture pods, which is cool. You can capture NPCs and use them like Pokemon. It's kind of useless, but it's a, it's a fun little gimmick, I guess. Alright, and when we activate this... You'll get the Urkius crystal that we so need. Well done. There's enough Urkius here to fully repair the ship. Oh, I can just turn it off on and off. It doesn't. It doesn't matter what we do. We just needed that quest item. And to get more Urkius from here on, we'll actually have to uh, go to Moons and mine it for ourselves. But it's not just that simple. But I guess. We'll see what happens when you get there. <laughs> Alright, Petey Pete. Perfect. These'll do the job. I'll go ahead and fix up your ship right now. Now, hopefully this'll work. I had a bug before, uh, where even after doing this quest, I couldn't go to other planets. And if that's the case, I'll just use an admin command and uh, spawn in the item I need to actually fix the ship. Alright, let's go talk to Esther. That was no that was no mean feat. Well done, dear. Now that your ship is full in full working order, we can get started on this task at hand. Alright. Before you go jetting off, I'll teach you how to access and use scan mode on your matter manipulator. There is a lot to learn from your surroundings, and the outpost is no exception. Press N to equip your scanner. Key areas of interest will appear green. Let me know how you get it on. Or how you get on. <laughs> yep. Scanner. Just click things. Things will turn from blue to red once you get the information from them. Uh, important things will have will be highlighted in green, but only in scanner mode. You won't see it if you don't have your scanner out. So if you're ever wanting to scan new things, uh, it's important you actually have your scanner out and, and are looking around for things you haven't seen yet. You just left click on it to uh to scan it. I'm basically going to be ignoring the uh, the text from Esther, but if you want to read it, you can. Because she'll tell you about what all these shops do. Or all the green things we scan, rather. 
Now we don't need to uh, scan all the blue things, but I like scanning everything, just because. I don't like. I'm not typically a completionist, but I I can't have any unscanned items. Like I'm not going out of my way to find items to scan, but if I ever go to a new area, I'll scan everything. I guess that's the best way to put it. Uh, this guy has a quest for us. It is to kill a boss, but for this stage in the game, it's actually surprisingly difficult. So we're gonna just uh, leave it for now. Uh, even with these weapons, I think it would still be kind of hard. Maybe once I get the next tier of armor, we'll do it. We'll uh, do all that pretty soon. Uh, Ursa Miner, I'm surprised that actually isn't green. He has a quest for us. I don't actually remember what the reward for that quest is. I do know what the uh, the objective is, though. All right, the Shady Parts dealer dude. Ah, oh, yes, Terra Mart's open now, so we can grab the items that I've been wanting there for for a while. All right, where is? Oh, okay, that was actually the last the last item we needed. Cool. All right, let's head on back to Ezder. All right, hello, Ezder. We have scanned everything. Excellent work. It may seem trivial, but scanning is an essential skill that will be pivotal in our search for the artifacts. Now that you're familiar with scanning, we need to start finding these artifacts. Yes, the Florin one first. Their colonies will contain vital clues to its whereabouts. Florin live all over nowadays, but still prefer the dense forest vegetation of planets found around gentle stars. Good luck, dear, and thank you. No problem. So, a large part of this game's, like, air quote, story is going to all the different races' planets and scanning a bunch of their, like, different items. Sometimes you have to go to multiple different planets to find all the items uh, that you need to scan. And then going back to Esther, turning in the quest, then doing a quest for those people. Like, you know, we scan all the foreign objects, and then go to Esther, talk to her, and then go do uh, quests that involve that is Florin involved. And then talk to her, and then go on to the next race, and so on. Uh, then once we've done that seven times, I think. Maybe only six times. I don't know if the Nova Kid is... Pro is I don't think the Nova Kid's added in there yet. Uh, then we can fight the last boss. <laughs> Alright, let me... Let me go buy some items from the, uh, the shop real quick. Alright, so at the Terra Mart, now this is only in this modded game, it's not in vanilla. I mean, the, the Terra Mart is here, but not the items I'm buying. Uh, what is this? Nicely packed shoat egg. Interesting. Uh, what I want, though, is the lumberjack, or lumberbots here. Uh, I have a mod called Garden Bot, and it, it has, well, obviously, bots for gardening, has bots for uh, tree farms has guardian bots. If you want to have a farm outside, it'll shoot at enemies. They're not super reliable, though. And mining bots, if you're too lazy and you want to have bots mine for you, which is pretty cool. I don't know if I'll be using these or not, but I will definitely be using the lumber bots because we have the, um... Where is it? The uh, peach tree saplings, and I think I'm going to have just a peach tree farm. I'm not going to worry about doing other kinds of, uh... Other kinds of farms, at least not yet. Maybe in the future... Uh, but for now, that's a good source of both timber and food, all in one. So let's get a uh, get two lumber bots. We only need one, but we'll get a couple garden markers to uh, sort of signal where they should stay. Actually, no, let's get two more, just in case we want to make uh, sort of two separate farms, and that's why we'd have two lumber bots. Uh, we won't make it just yet. I did want to pick up the supplies though, uh, but we'll make it once we. Uh, once we start setting up a base, probably just on our home planet or something. But let's see if the ship actually works uh, as intended now that we've done the quest and hypothetically had it fixed up. Okay, it looks actually good now. Uh, let's see. We should be able to travel to other planets now, right? Alright, uh, I want to find one that's not Fracken Universe. This is Forest. It has Tungsten on it, which is the next tier of ores. So that is where we're going to go. Alright, but I think on that note, I'm going to end the episode there for today. Uh, we got that boss fight done with, which was pretty cool, and we uh, started on the next part of our story. So with all that being said, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.